I will ask our president, Professor Rhonda Fields, to present our best award, that is the award for the betterment for the human condition. So what I invite Rhonda to come here. Thank you very much. It gives us great pleasure to introduce and present the award, The Betterment for the Human Condition. This is a, the, a significant award that we offer. It's a, really our, our highest award in many ways. And this year we are so honored to present to the Halloran Philanthropies. And I would like to ask that Harry and Kay Halloran, the founders and chairs of the Halloran Philanthropy, and Joseph Tony Carr, the president, and also um, Audrey Selene, the Senior Development Officer, if you would come to the stage and we'll uh, recognize you with the award, and then I'll tell you a bit more about the philanthropies after they come to the stage. So please join me. amazing group. The Philanthropies is a private charitable foundation. It's located in Pennsylvania in the U.S. It was created in 27, uh, 2007 by Harry and Kay. And the purpose is, is to inspire, innovate, and accelerate sustainable social interventions that promote human well-being. And it's further articulated by Harry uh, at Halloran, the chairman of the board of the Philanthropies and founder of the American Refinery Group. The vision of the Philanthropies is to provide a humanistic framework within which all people live in peace, justice, and security without fear of violence. And they also have um, material poverty is eliminated throughout the world. Equality, freedom, and human dignity are achieved for 100% of humanity. And all people achieve physical and mental health. That's amazing. That in itself is, is so inspiring. The Philanthropies um, and the CEO, Anthony Tony uh, Carr, further clarified the vision of the Philanthropies in their 2015 annual report. Let me uh, read a little bit from that so you can get a feel and a real sense for this group. We believe that by unleashing the power of technology and innovation through sustainable social enterprise, large numbers of people can be free from material poverty. To this end, we aim to inspire leaders in the social innovation and entrepreneurship movement, create pathways for those who seek to join it, and provide support through funding and mentoring that can translate great ideas into reality. Today, the philanthropies distribute more than five million annually in support of power unleashing projects located in all regions of the world, and with a heavy concentration of their efforts in Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Uganda, Mali, India, and the United States. The role of the philanthropies in serving as a catalyst in promoting progressively higher levels of well-being worldwide was described by Harry Halloran in an oral history interview conducted by Michael Fish during the History of Well-Being Symposium held in Philadelphia in 2014. You can also see those online, and, and that's uh, very important to go see and, and very inspiring. All of the philanthropies' efforts are grounded in research the use of evidence-based practices as a basis for receiving their support. They've also fully funded a highly influential center on business ethics. This is the Veritas Institute, located at the University of St. Thomas in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As a result, major financial support is provided. The University of St. Thomas now has the largest business ethics faculty in the United States. And that, again, is another major accomplishment. Among many others, the philanthropies also have been an active supporter of ISCOLs they um, have made contributions towards financing the society's two most recent international meetings in Berlin and Phoenix. They've also provided support for preparation of extensive history of well-being worldwide. 
which um, will be released by Springer in late summer, or, or actually, is, well, maybe fall now, right? <laughs> and, and through the History of the Wellbeing Project, the commissioning of original chapters documenting the history of well-being in virtually all regions of the world from ancient to modern times. This compendium is, is truly a stunning contribution for all of us in the concern of quality of life. The outcomes of this support have been many and have added appreciably to our collective knowledge and understanding of the history of well-being over a span of time covering more than 4,000 years. Further evidence in support of the worthiness of the philanthropies receiving the Society's Betterment of Human Condition Award is that provided in, in um, I, we can provide summaries of, that they have had uh, with the work located in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, the Howard Philanthropies is one of the most innovative and increasingly influential charitable organizations dedicated to the pursuit of well-being worldwide. If you will please join me again in congratulating them, uh, we, we can show our appreciation for their work. Well, thank you. This is uh, the first award that Halloran Philanthropies has received. And uh, as you were reading all of those things, and I'm thinking, have we done all of that? <laughs> <laughs> um, we started eight years ago, and uh, we have uh, been very fortunate in uh, becoming involved with uh, is equals, how do you pronounce it? Isqual, sorry. Um, through uh, a wonderful relationship with uh, Joe Sergi and Richard Estes. And so we have learned and have become involved in this wonderful project, the history of human well-being. And uh, you know, when you, when you have an ambition to do such a big project like that, you want to have editors and people from an organization which we didn't know about before. It was as international, uh, have great uh, authors and people that we learned a little bit about this time, and of course uh, the founders. Uh, and so it's been a real privilege to work with the schools and, and to um, be here at this thing. And the award is really appreciated. Um, it just, um, I was, as I said, I was thinking, gee, have we really done all those things? And I think we have, and I wanted to personally uh, thank Kay for her participation. She has claims that she has discovered some of the people that we have funded uh, before we did, and, and she has that claim. And also I wanted to thank, uh, of course, Tony, uh, who we uh, founded Howler Philanthropies for and all the work is he has done and also Audrey who uh, has been very very helpful in the, in the well-being project which we hope some of you we hope you will read the project when it comes out the handbook the search for human well-being the untold story because it has you know, the, the story has not been told anywhere. What you hear about human well-being is the difficult, the bad things, you know. And, uh, and in this case, we tried to present a fair picture, a complete picture, which I'm very proud of the work that our editors have done. So thanks very, very much. It was a really wonderful tribute to us. Thank you.